guided by the technique and style of Western classical art tradition. Like describe the influence of iconic artists belonging to Western classical art on the evolution of art forms. By Sapi, appreciates practice and compete competitive games, basketball. And then in our health, suggest ways to prevent, manage, and environmental health issues. So now I will just. Alam niyo naman yung part sa bundle kaya lang iya dun natin nule. So expectation. These are what you will be able to know after completing. Okay, you pre-test hindi na natin gagawin kasi kukulang tayo sa oras. Next, looking back at the lesson at the United Nations Review, hindi na natin gagawin na yan. Pupunta ngayon tayo din sa British Review, which is ito yung medyo nag-introduction para magkaroon kayo na idea kung ano yung pag-aaralan natin. And then, we will go to remember Ibig sabihin, ito yung mga mahalagang mga bagay na dapat nyo handaan o get the meanings. And then, I will give you the activities in every or in every component sa apat. Okay? Ito yung nagagawin natin, ha? So, let's start. In music, so the application of medieval renaissance baroque period. Lahat ba kayo nasa inyo yung mga modules nyo? Lahat ba may copy ng module? So we are talking about module, uh, lesson 6. Uh, lesson 6 tayo. So yan yung title. Uh, will you please read the expectations in music? Anybody who wants to read? Say your name, please. Dang, sir. Dang. This module will help you to appreciate the music of medieval, renaissance, and baroque period. Explore other arts and media that portray medieval, renaissance, and baroque, and baroque elements. Improvise appropriate accompaniment to given medieval and renaissance songs. Okay. So, yun yung dapat na pa-achieve nyo after yun yung na-expect sa inyo ang gawin nyo. So, the brief introduction. Pakibasa. So, your name? Kung sino gusto magbasa? Pabita, sir. Pabito. Pabito. Pabito, sir. O, oh, Pabito. Brief introduction. The first three periods of Western music history are classified as medieval, renaissance, and baroque. Each period has its distinctive characteristic in vocal and instrumental music. Okay. So, in this lesson, ang pinag-uusapan yung distinctive characteristic ng bawat period. Ano yung pinagkakaiba? Ano yung may pagkaparehas? And then, what are the things to remember? O oh, sige, basa. Dilakros. Sir. Gregorian Chan. <laughs> is a type of music for medieval era which was mainly used in early christian church to passion is a type of music traditionally performed to catholics during Lent, ano, lenten season the five parts of mass are Kyrie, gloria credo san cruz and, and agnus day broke for unto as a child as born what child is this our popular Christmas tradition because our good and gracious God is faithful to remind us the reason for the season. Okay. 
So, ito yung iba-iba. Una yung Gregorian chant. It is a uh, music played in a Christian church. Yung passion, alam nyo naman yung passion, di ba? Yung uh, kanta na ginagawa natin tuwing na uh, mahal na araw tungkol kay Jesus. And number three, yan yung parts of the Mass. Okay? And then the last one is the describe the child is born with Jesus Christ. Okay? So, so in music, this will be our activity one and activity two. Will you please read the direction? Activity one, lyrics creation. Itla po. Sino? Itla po. Oh, sige. Basa. Create a lyric related to COVID-19 by using the Guardian Hand style to the tone to the tune of My Heart Will Go On. Okay. So, ang gagawin nyo, i-click nyo yung YouTube, yung channel na yan, and then, ano sabi, gagawa kayo ng lyrics. Okay? Na, tumasabay doon sa tugtog ng My Heart Will Go On. Okay? So, isusulat nyo yung lyrics sa notebook, or, teka, possible ba na yung kanta, sasabayan nyo siya, and then you will record it, and then sasabihin nyo sa akin sa classwork? Pwede ba yun? Pwede po. Okay. Pwede po, sir. O, oh, sige. So, dahil si, dahil si sir, hindi pa masyadong sanay, So, pakiinga ko yung mga performance doon. Hindi nyo na kailangan isulat. Gagawa kayo ng lyrics and then sabay nyo sa tugtog. Nakuha. And then send it to the classwork. Okay? Okay. Okay. So, that will be our activity one na sa music. Next will be the prayer making. Pakiiba sa yung direction. Fatima. Fatima. Okay. Ang basa. Okay. So, ako na. Sige. Make a prayer and apply music using the liturgical song. Okay? So, play the channel. Play niyo ang uh, site na yan and then mag music. And then you will make a short prayer. Ganon din. Recording din. Tama ba? Sentel? Yes, Sentel, po. Pwede ba yun, Sentel? Yes, po. Halimbawa, nagpe-play yung background music, and then yung boses mo, sasabay mo doon, yung play the player. Tama? Opo, pwede. Okay. okay. So, that will be our activity 1 and 2 sa music. Okay, let's now go to our ancient era architectural prehistoric and Egyptian that's the title of our lecture 6. Expectation, Pakibasa. Tatawag ako. Hindi mo lahat kayo makita. Marami ito. Mamunti. Tobias. Tobias? Sir. Pakibasa. Expectation. You will recognize the uh, ancient era architecture, prehistoric and Egyptian. Especially, this module will help you to 
creates artworks guided by techniques and styles of Western classical art traditions. Describe the influence of iconic artists belonging to Western classical art on the evolu evolution of art forms. Okay. From the ancient art era going to the prehistoric and to the Egyptian era, ibig sabihin yung pagbabago. Okay? Kung ano yung mga pagbabago o yung mga improvement na nangyari nung nag-evolve yung art nung mga panahon na yun. Okay? Next. Okay, will you please read the brief history? Yes, sir. What's your name? Yes, sir. Okay, yes. Western classical art traditions. Artworks in every era has its distinct art forms depending on its aesthetic and utilitarian needs. In the Western classical art tradition, architecture art form is one of the popular works that has been made. Okay, how about the Western classical art tradition ancient architecture? Continue. In, in, uh, in ancient era, even at In ancient era, and spent thousands or millions of hours or labor on a single piece of structure. Okay. So, yan yung description ng classical art tradition and the art tradition of ancient architecture. So, no. Okay, now, okay, let's now go to activity one. So, identify the ancient architecture, choose your own answer from the word pool below. So, ito ang gagawin dito, sulat ang sagot, picturean, and then send as your first activity sa art and then okay, okay next activity 2 marami na tayong na uh, na na pakita ang mga painting sa inyo from lesson 1 at till until lesson 6. Ito ay seryon. So yung mga picture na nandun sa inyong uh, mga module for module 1, I want you to create a uh, paint, painting. Okay? Using oil pastel, watercolor, or uh, yung any kind of paint. Sa isang house to paper, nagagawa kayo ng art project nyo. Pwede portrait, pwede prehistoric, pwede Egyptian, pwede ano pa ba yung mga subject natin? Still life, yung yun. So marami ako binigay sa inyo yung subjects, di ba? So bahala na kayo kung ano nga gusto nyo gawin project and then kuha na ng picture and then isend sa akin siguro mga ano mga apat na picture yung tatlo habang magpakuha kayo habang ginagawa nyo yung last one yun yung pinaka gawa na okay or hawak hawak yung picture gawa na yung painting ako ba Yes. Hello. Hello. Yes, Yes, Papa. 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 Papa.
and sports basketball. Okay, yan yung brief introduction. Pakibasa. Sir Bengzon po. Si? Bengzon po. Okay, okay. Kaili. In basketball, an official, usually called a referee, enforces the rules and maintains order in the game. The title of official also applies to the scorers and timekeepers, as well as other personnel that have an active task in maintaining the game. Basketball is regarded as among the most difficult sports to officiate due to the speed of play. Complex complexity of rules the specific interpretations of rules and the instantaneous decisions required. Okay, so sino sa inyo ang nanonood ng basketball? Meron ba sa inyo ang nanonood ng basketball? Meron sa Okay. Okay, so napapansin niyo ba yung mga referees? Yung tatlo. So madalas, yung mga players they are complaining to the referee. Diba? Patulad ko, isa akong uh, actual experience basketball referee. Ibig sabihin, ito yung sport sa kung saan mahirap i-officiate. Kasi bakit? Unang-una, the ball is in play, pati yung mga players, diba? At ikaw, as a referee, tumatakbo ka rin. Ibig sabihin, pag nakita mo yung instance na kung ano yung violation, dapat mabilis ka mag-isip at yung pito mo dapat hindi malilig at isesenyas mo kung ano yung violation. So isipin niya, coordination, presence of mind while you are moving and then you will give the correct call or the correct decision required to the certain situation. Pag nagkamali, ano mangyayari? Magre-reklamo yung player, magre-reklamo yung coach, pati yung mga nanonood, magagalit. Okay? So, mahirap ang trabaho ng isang basketball referee. Yan ang di-describe natin, ha? Next, Nandun sa module nyo lahat ng dapat nyo malaman about sa officiating, lalo na sa hand signals. Okay? So now, in our activity one, ang nandyan yung pangalan ng violation. And then, as sinasabi, ano daw, ano daw ang gagawin? Will you please read the direction? Activity one. Who wants to read? Nandyan ka ba? Ang mamaya ka na daang. Alam ko na dyan ka lagi. Sabi ko. Abilyan na dyan ka ba? Abilyan. Hazel. Abilyan. Palamdam ka. Ano ko na? Ah, Sean. 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 Sige, ikaw mo basta Sean. Direction. In this activity, you will draw a hand signal inside the box based on the given word in each item. Okay. So, ang nakalagay dyan yung violation, ang gagawin nyo, i-drawing nyo yung hand signal no referee para doon sa tamang signal, sa tamang violation. Naintindihan ba? So. Okay. Okay, next. Opposite naman, opposite lang. Yung pinakikita dito yung hand signal, susulad din naman kung ano yung klase ng violation. The gets? Yes. Well, that is for our activity 2 in PE. Okay. Bilangin natin ha. Sa music, isang activity lang tayo. Sa art, dalawa. Sa PE, dalawa ulit. Okay? So, yun na. For this week yan, for this week. Okay, brief introduction. Ang daw yung title ng lesson natin? Meron ba? Ayan. 
Lesson ways to prevent and manage environmental health issues and environmental law. Kung ano daw yung mga batas na umiiral tungkol sa pagmamanage ng environmental health issues. Okay, expectation. Basa. Okay, yes, sir. MJ. Riosa. Are you there? MJ? Yeah, and this MJ. MJ? Erin J. But Erin J. Riosa. Hola? Mahina siguro. Oh, sige, Reyes, basa. Expectations. You will be able to, to suggest ways to prevent and manage environmental health issues, environmental laws. Specifically, this module will help you to familiarize yourself to some pertinent laws and adhering to environmental safety and health protection. Okay. So that is our expectation. Next, we page three. The government has created an office which would be in charge in planning and implementing different environmental law to address the different community health problems. Okay. So, ito yung mga things to remember at yung mga law na kung saan dapat uh, maalala nyo pag... Uh, Merong violations na ginawa ang isang tao o isang uh, lugar. Okay, let's go now to our activity one. Identification. Identify the law that governs the following and prohibited acts. So, isusulat ko dito yung mga law na nandito sa ating yan. Yung mga law na yan, nandun na sa module. So, basahin, yan ay isasagot din sa activity 1. Ay, hindi yan. Okay, for our activity 2, pakibasa nga, picture analysis. Picture analysis. Sir, thanks po. Okay, Benson. Examine the picture. Reflect on the possible community health problems that may arise from this scenario and er enumerate their effects on your community. Write your answers inside the box below the picture. Okay. Siguro you just write it in your uh, notebook. Sa mapi notebook nyo. Gawa tayo ng mapi notebook nga pala. Kahit late na. And then siguro mga compose of two paragraphs regarding this picture. And then kuha na nyo ng picture and then send it sa classwork as your help activity 2. Okay? So, yan, that will be our lesson for the whole week. Kayo na ang bahalang mag-manage kung kailan niyo siya gustong gawin. Basta itulungin ko na to, by Friday, meron ulit tayong post test. Ha? May 20 items sa side this week regarding sa module 6. Okay, ngayon yung painting. Anong? Sir, yung painting ba? Kailangan ba sa Friday na? Sige, I will give you, hanggang kailan nyo gusto isubmit yung painting nyo? Any suggestion? Hello? Sir, either Saturday or Sunday po pwede. Monday. Tato Sunday? Ano pa? Monday, Monday, Monday po. Monday. 
Okay, what if bigyan ko pa kayo ng isang linggo bukod sa Friday, Sige, next, sir. next Friday. So, anong date yun? Da, anong date yung next Friday niya? So, I will consider na hindi late until next, next Friday. Ngayon, yung hindi pa makagawa, I'll consider it late after Friday, so Saturday, ano. Pero yung mga ibang activity, madadali lang naman yan, I'm expecting it on Friday. Nakuha? Or Saturday, hindi Saturday. Okay ba yun? Yes po, sir. Hindi na, ma- hindi na kayo masyadong ma- mahigilapan doon sa until Saturday to iba, tas yung breaking two weeks. Okay, so kung wala na kayong, may tanong pa ba sa iba? So, ulitin natin ang music sa activity. Art, dalawa. Sa PE, dalawa. Sa health, dalawa rin. So, you have seven. Seven activities. Madadali lang naman. And then, yung process natin, wait for sa GC on post ko sa Friday. Any, uh, any question? Sir, yes po. Question po. Sige. Sir, dun po sa painting, ano pong pwede namin gawin kung wala po kaming oil pastels or di kaya watercolor? Kung ano yung available na meron ka dyan, clay pass. Ano pa yung, ano pa yung meron ka dyan? Huwag lang, huwag lang natin gamitan ng color yung color na pang ano, pang, pang elementary. Siguro, ah, uh, yung, yun lang, huwag lang yung color, huwag lang yung plain na color na, ano. Pwede lang gumamit ng... Colored pencil. Oh, uh, yung colored pencil. Sige, kung yung medyo may available na. Pero kung hanggang mahali, gamit tayo na water base, ha? Kung meron. Kasi yun yung anat sa painting, no? Okay? Doon naman sa subject, hindi ako, hindi, hindi perfect na hindi yung subject na yan yun ha. Sabi ko yung napag-aralan natin doon sa from module 1 to module 6. Kung ano yung mga pictures na nandun, pwede nyo gawin ha. Okay? May tanong pa? Okay, uh, wala na. Pero ako, hindi pa ako tapos. Ay. Dali ah. Kailangan ko kasi itong daang. May daang pa daang. Kasi daang. Yes sir. Daang kailangan ko yung pangalan sa attendance eh. Ako nga nung pito. Wait lang ah. 